Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and this is a deck review. All right, today we're gonna look at the new Star Wars playing cards, the light side and the dark side from Theory11.com. Now, I know what you're saying. Why aren't you looking at Last Jedi? Like, I never made a video uh, that told you how I felt about Last Jedi. Uh, why aren't I making a video about the last episode of The Mandalorian? Uh, simple. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of other Star Wars YouTube channels that are already talking about those things. I would just be white noise. Uh, talking about those things as well. I'd rather talk to you about merchandise. I'd rather talk to you about toys. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm a Star Wars fan since the beginning, since 1977, and I am not a hater in any way. I love all of Star Wars. I love all the films, love the books. You slap Star Wars on it, I'll probably buy it. And uh, I wanna show it to you. I like showing you my collection, my toys, and the Star Wars stuff. And if you've been a collector of Star Wars merchandise for as long as I have, you have probably seen some of the other decks of cards that have come out that have been Star Wars themed. Many of them have been printed by Cardamundi, uh, and that's fine. Cardamundi has made good cards in the past. But the problem with the Star Wars collector's merch that has come out in the past is that I'm also a playing card collector. I also collect playing cards. And so the quality of the Star Wars playing cards in the past has kind of always been a little subpar. There's always been some things about the playing card decks that I haven't liked. I mean, number one, a lot of times they come in a tin and the tin is three-dimensional and they try to make it seem like, oh, you'll love this collector's tin, but tins don't really stack well. They don't store well. They're way too big and kind of miss just having a box to put your cards in. Um, second, the quality of the paper is never uh, as good. Uh, it always seems like they use a subpar paper when they print, uh, you know, cards that are supposed to be collectible. And then it doesn't seem like they spend a lot of time on the design or they over design it, right? Like the back design is usually a, a poster from one of the Star Wars films, which means it's a one-way image, which means once the cards get flipped around, it's upside down, right side up, you know. And then the fronts are usually photographs as well from the movies, making those one way. And of course, you know, I've bought them. I've bought them. I have the Star Wars ones that came out a long time ago. I've got the Rogue One uh, deck. I have uh, I have Boba Fett deck. That one actually came in a cardboard box. I have that one as well. But like I said, they've never really kind of wowed me. I've just bought them to have them, but and, and just and just to have them as collector's pieces. But they've never been what I would say would be a quality deck of cards. So thank goodness for Theory11.com. Theory11, uh, if you don't know, and you head on down there and check out their website, that's what they do. They design really good decks of cards. They design great decks of cards, and they make amazing tuck cases. Finally, as Star Wars collectors, we get a deck of cards printed from the United States Playing Card Company in a cardboard tuck like we would want, and all drawn, beautiful, two-way images. Let's look at both these decks right now. First thing you'll notice is the red and blue tuck cases, light side and dark side, respectively. The back of the tuck case, where the tuck seal is, that actually is the front of the box because that's where it says Star Wars playing cards on both sides. Light side has an X-wing at the top and a Y-wing at the bottom, has some uh, Star Wars symbols for the rebellion and the resistance. And then the dark side one has a Star Destroyer at the top and Darth Vader's tie at the bottom. And then it has symbols for the Empire and the First Order. On the sides of the tuck, you're gonna have some Star Wars quotes. Now I am the master, luminous beings are we. And on the other side, the power of the dark side and may the force be with you. The bottom has some ad copy about 311.com, Disney and Lucasfilm. And the top side shows an original tuck seal. The blue says join the rebellion. The red says defend the Empire. And you have a Star Wars quote underneath that. If you lift the tongue flap up on the light side deck, it says stay on target. And if you lift it all the way up to show the tiny tongue flaps, you have some tiny little X-wings. On the dark side tuck case, the flap says, I have you now with Darth Vader's tie. And then there's some little tie fighters on the tiny tuck flaps. 
Both these tuck cases are done on black matte embossed paper with foil inks. That's everything I can say about the tuck cases. Let's open them up. Let's look at these cards. Now, the only big difference between the two decks is the back design. Light side will have its own back design. Dark side will have its own back design. The faces and the courts are going to be the same for both decks, which is good because then you have a set of decks for playing card games that require two decks. On the back of the light side deck, you have symbols for the Resistance and the Rebellion. It's flanked on either side with the lightsaber, the lightsaber. Uh, top and bottom has the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon, as well as R2-D2's dome. And you have some uh, little tiny repeating X-wings there in the very center. The back of the dark side deck uh, includes Emperor Palpatine's window and the dome of the Death Star as well as some repeating TIE Fighter images, and it is also flanked on either side by a dark side lightsaber. With this deck, you'll get two extra cards. One is a Star Wars card that talks about uh, Disney and LucasArts, and the second one is an ad card for 311.com. Your two Jokers are the two new droids from the new series. Um, you have BB-8 with his lighter sticking out, and the second one is Dio, and they both say Joker in each corner, and between the two, they're both really cute. I'm not exactly sure why they did Dio in red and not green. Uh, perhaps it's because there aren't any green inks in the deck at all, and doing another pass of another color would have just been, you know, more cost. Your Ace of Spades has Luke's X-Wing being pulled out of the Dagobah Swamp, and uh, it's all done in kind of like a gold and black, and then you can see Yoda down there at the bottom, lifting it. Your pips and indices are gonna be completely redone. You have an original font in the corner and you can see the division uh, with the pips uh, as they're segmented down the center with a dark side on one side and kind of like a gradient side on the other. And then your beautiful core cards are completely redone. They're kind of done in the style of our classic traditional courts, but of course they're given Star Wars clothing, weapons, and faces. Your spades are uh, Boba Fett, Thamadala, and Darth Vader. Your diamonds are Luke Skywalker. Your clubs are Emperor Palpatine, Mon Motha, and Kylo Ren. And your hearts are Obi-Wan Kenobi, Princess Leia, and Han Solo. Also, if you look at the other aces, you'll see a spaceship as a watermark in the background. The Ace of Diamonds is the Slave One. The Ace of Clubs is Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. And the Ace of Hearts is the Millennium Falcon. And of course, because they're made by the United States Playing Card Company, which is Bicycle, uh, they're gonna shuffle great, feel great, they're gonna be perfect for anything that you enjoy playing cards with. I'm so glad that Theory11.com partnered with Disney and LucasArts to make these decks. I've been waiting for quality Star Wars playing cards for a really long time as a playing card collector. Uh, and I believe both of them are still available on their website. I believe each deck is $10 a piece. Uh, hey, let me know what you think about these cards or cards in the past with the, you know, the previous decks, or if you've got any of the older uh, playing cards, you certainly want to hit me up in the comment section below. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.